there. Have you ever wanted a book that you could read with your students that actually keeps them engaged with fun activities? If so, the book I'm about to show you is the book for you. Most books have the same traditional non-interactive content in them, but How Like a Wolf is exactly the opposite. So this book allows students to use their imaginations to learn more about 15 of the animals they know and love. For instance, they can sing like a humpback whale, joke like a raven, dance like a honeybee, and of course, howl like a wolf. The reason why I selected How Like a Wolf is because of the amount of creativity that was put into the making of this book. So every page of the book is pretty much aesthetically pleasing. There's tons of stuff that you just want to look at 24-7. You want to read it. You want to get to know it. Um, and it also keeps the kids imagining what it would be like in an animal's shoes. There are plenty of activities for every animal in the book for you to do with your students. I wouldn't suggest doing all of them because it can get time consuming and some aren't able to be conducted at school, but they're great ideas if you alter it to fit into a classroom setting. Um, it was weird to me because the Lexile level was estimated for this book to be 1,010, putting this book at a seventh grade reading level. But after thoroughly reading through it, it could definitely be a second grade level if you wanted it to be. So like, for instance, words that are harder for kids to understand are purposely colored and bigger. So students would recognize that it's new vocabulary. So like, for instance, the penguins and adaptations, stuff like that, words like that, you can literally tell your students about it. Tell them what the word means, and they should be fun. And so also, after going through the South Carolina standards, there are many content areas that you can teach in this book. So science and classifying animals was an obvious choice, but you can also teach like English language arts and social studies. So ELA, you can do points of view that are mentioned because it's throughout the whole entire book. You'll see first, second, and third person throughout each animal that you go to. So it's exciting. You'll get to see first person, the views of the animals, and then second and third will be through the activities and kind of stuff like that, the facts. Um, and then social studies is another great option because of the locations of animals. So the animals in the book are located all over the world. Um, so your students can do some research on them. But if you want your students to make connections with what you're reading to them, this is the book to do that with. How Like a Book will all, How Like a Book, How Like a Wolf will always be a book I will use in my classroom. I hope it will be one you use in yours too.